Good morning, everybody, from a cloudy uh, Barnsley, God's own country, Yorkshire type thing. Uh, right. Um, this is his latest project, his latest job uh, for a customer. Uh, turned up yesterday, and uh, the customer said that they were going to knock it all off themselves. And uh, they turned up, and it's not been done very well to our standards it, it had been knocked off but it's not been knocked off to our standards so there were areas that were bridging there were render left on um so we spent half a day knocking it all knocking it all off uh, how it should be um spoke to the customer on the phone uh, and just explained that you, you know that we've had to do all that and there might, there might be a charge at end at job um, there was still some more to knock off in this bit, which they were doing last night, and uh, we've turned up today. They've posted keys back for us. Uh, we've not heard note from it, so I expected it to be, you know, to do like our standard, like it is in there, when we've been round and finished it all off. So we've come today, and uh, same again. We've got. I mean, we can't. If if we plaster that, it's bridging down at the bottom. It's all round. It's all round the uh, um, rest of it's not bad. But if you see here, there's render. It's old render that's on floor. And if we plaster over that, it's it's just bridging again. So we just can't do all with that. So I, I'm going to have to knock that off because I can't be waiting for them to to knock it off another day. Now this wall is even worse. So, if you can see, it's not even been knocked off properly. Uh, and I understand that it's probably hard render, but we're used to doing it. And it's just been, they've, they've tried best they can and then just left it. Now, I want to mind it, but they've not even sent a picture and up and said, is this, you know, is this acceptable? So now I'm going to have to get my drill out and I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to cut that all off. So we can't even see it joint, which we're supposed to be drilling and injecting into. This wall, we, we're all probably done okay. It's not bad, apart from this is left um, like finish on wall. I mean, like here in corners and stuff. It's just not, it's just not done properly. Um, it's not bad further down. We were easy to take off, um, which you know, which we don't mind. But if you're going to take it off yourself, I did a video yesterday and my sound weren't working, so uh, unfortunately you're not going to be able to see it. And that was just the same thing, showing all bits and render that's that's still on. Now, I just don't, I just automatically thought that they were fetching somebody in their own labour who who, are, um, who probably knew what they were doing to knock off. So you know we got told to come drill and inject, price up to drill and inject replastering um and then obviously there's replastering up there well a couple of other things what what were knocked off we, we asked them to leave plaster on on both sides of the chimney breast and uh and just hack it off at bottom and what we were going to do we were going to do a drywall system straight over the top but when we came it's all hacked off all the way down and even round up at chimney breast um i understand that it might have been, once they got wallpaper off, it might have come off easy, but even that's not even knocked off properly. It's, uh, it leaves a lot to be desired. Um, and I spoke to the lady last night, um, lovely lady, and she says, well, I'm only a visit, well, whatever she does, job. And, um, you know, it, it don't matter. It's, it, if they don't do it properly, we've got to do it, and it's gonna cost us time and money. And then when we said to them, you know, it might be extra on 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 end at and end at job, then they're saying, yeah, but we've only budgeted for so much. Like, well, you know, fair enough. But I mean, I have been on holiday for for a week, but um, I don't know. There's been there's been not much communication. But being professionals, we're going to sort it out because we want to have a. Um, we want customer to be happy, so we will we will sort it out and we will come to some kind of arrangement. But if you're gonna if you're gonna knock off yourself, it's got to be done 
correctly. It's got to be done right and it's got to be done to standard at people that's going to be replastering. Um, it's not, it might seem as if knocking off is just like, oh, anybody can do it. Um, just get a drill and start, you know, hammering away and knocking it off. And it's, it's, unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. If you leave stuff on that's bridging and then you ask your, you ask your um, damp proofer to go over the top of it, um, he's getting guarantees. And it's, it's, it's him that's, that's going to end up ultimately coming back because it's not been knocked off properly or he's going to have to knock off himself, which is going to cost him time and money. Uh, so just putting that out there from from a contractor or a downproofing company's perspective, um, it's just added more time on jobs. When you've got jobs programmed in, um, it's a bit it's unfortunate, but you know we'll sort it out. But um, just put just show, just showing you bits where it's bridging and things like that, and and it's just not acceptable. A um, bit more about this job, we're using um, damp check rods, which are fantastic, fantastic product. Um, one thing I say about the customer, she's paying, the, um, she's paying for the premium products. So this is a, an old barn and we damp check rods. Or um, what do they call it? Oh, the packet somewhere. Contractor rods, damp check rods, damp uh, dry sticks. Then you know you've got the right amount of um, damp proofing material in the wall because that is like a. Oh, here we go. That is solid. It's not going to disperse anywhere. It's going to slide into all that we've drilled and we'll push another one in through to fill this solid hole and that stays in place for duration at building. It don't go anywhere and it only kicks in when any moisture comes up and around it. Fantastic products for, for these types of walls. Old cottages with solid walls. Um, the best thing up market for it. So, uh, but they, they come at a premium. Um, they, they are expensive, but they are the best thing on the market and it's um, for, uh, for that kind of thing. Um, we put in dry zone plaster on, which is gonna go on, um, which again is suitable for these types of walls, um, solid walls, stone walls that are sort of nearly two foot thick. I won't, I won't put render light or limelight on it um, but this stuff has been specially made for it, so we're going to bullet seal in as well uh, and skim all the walls. So, after my holidays, this is my first video, I think. Uh, let us know how you, whether you enjoyed it or not, whether you didn't, um, or I can do better. Um, please subscribe for some more videos and some uh, nosing around people's houses. All right, see you later. Oh, we're up for an award uh, tomorrow night at the PCA Awards. I'm hoping that we're going to win. Um, so, fingers crossed, one of the next videos might be me with winner's trophy, gloating, or me sat in corner with a tear in my eye. Mad, because we haven't won. All right, I'm a bad loser. Bye.